Scientists at UCSF found that during exercise, a protein is released, which when injected into mice lazing around all day, gave them the same cognitive benefits as running on a wheel all day. Hi, Shri here. The fact that exercise is good for the body is not really cutting edge stuff, but we're just now starting to explore the effect of exercise on the mind, on how we learn, problem solve, and remember things. Together, this is called cognitive function, and it tends to get worse with age. Exercising can actually prevent some of those effects, but exactly how that happens has been kind of a mystery. Until now. This week in science, researchers at UCSF studied blood and brains of mice. Now imagine normal mice sort of as couch potatoes, sitting around, snacking on cheese-based munchies, and binging claw and order SVU, the enthralling procedural about mouse-based defenses. Turns out that sticking a running wheel in their cages actually kickstarts their fitness goals, because mice with the wheels start running obsessively while awake. After three weeks, the authors did a bunch of mousy function tests, like running them through mazes and object recognition tests. And while the couch potato mice sort of bumped into walls and forgot where they were in the maze, the mice who had been exercising performed way better. In fact, new neurons in the hippocampus, this area of the brain which handles memory, doubled in the exercising mice. Even cooler though, Taking blood plasma from the exercising mice and giving it to the couch potato mice had the same benefits for the brain as if the couch potatoes were doing the exercise themselves. Without having run multiple miles on the wheel, the couch potato mice who got transfusions were able to get through mazes and recognize objects and their brains even showed the same neuron growth. So there's some sort of floating molecule in the plasma that can basically pass along the benefits of exercising. In searching for it, the authors honed in on GPLD1, a protein released by the liver which basically goes around snipping off fatty acid anchors that hold stuff to the outside of cells. The authors forced the liver to produce this enzyme by injecting the DNA for this protein into the tail of the couch potato mice, and they saw the same cognitive benefits as running on a wheel all day. More neurons, growing, better mousy function overall. But before you start crafting the perfect message to your most gym rat or mouse friend asking for their sweet, sweet blood, calm down. GPLD1 is higher in the blood of exercising humans, but hasn't been studied too much beyond that. But this is a really cool start to understanding how exercise affects the brain and what the future might hold. Maybe a pill to improve cognitive function for your grandparents who can't go on their daily walk anymore. Maybe a 30 minute workout pill with your nightly vitamins. Regardless, as you collapse in bed after your workout today, which you're definitely going to do, and drift off to sleep, that's one dream that might be coming true sooner than you think. And that's the cutting edge.